<laughs> You're still against the handsome ones are bad rule? I don't know. Don't we have enough data to support that conclusion? Very satisfying for Sue the Painter, yes. This doesn't make you anxious having all these paint things kind of just sort of spread out here. Glad to be back streaming, Nancy. Uh, it's, it's good. Yeah, no, it's definitely good. It's been a long time and it's just getting used to things, you know? It's definitely nice to be back. No, <laughs> there you go, Fire Child. That's the irony of all of this, isn't it? Got it. Love it. So I have an incomplete sword. Interesting. I would assume that there is lots and lots of time spent on this artwork. I even like how these curtains have, like, physics to them. Look at that. Well, not physics, but motion. It's cool. Pallet knife, incomplete sword. Huh. So, the princess is in tears. I should try to patch up the painting. Hmm. With my golden beak. I have to find a key to continue. No such luck. So back to the painting room we go. Hmm. What else can I touch here? That's that. I not sure what I can interact with in here. Knife to pry the king piece. Okay. I will give that a shot. Thank you. Well done. And now we have the completed sword. That is called co-op hidden object game. This does look a little crisper, Sue, I agree. It's got a little bit more of a high def feel to it. Oh, there's the ugly duckling. There's the little rascal. Oh, <gasps> no, don't run away. Uh, sword key is ours. The blood moon is steadily rising. Ribbit. The statue's head is overgrown with algae. And it's crying. Look at it. It's crying. Oh, I see. We're going to have to put the golden beak there. There's no time left. If I don't remove my curse before the blood moon rises over, the islet rock will be lost. Okay, in search of the cure for his ailment. Interesting. Drawn to his traveling wagon by a beautiful fiddling, fiddling, fiddler. Princess Fiona became fascinated with this mysterious vulnerable boy. Whoa. Daniel, thank you for the follow there. Um. Sure. Drawn to his traveling wagon. Oh. Let's put that sunset there. The children became inseparable. Their friendship slowly bought blossoming to love. 
It made the prince even more eager to find the cure, so he decided to continue his search. He left the princess with the promise of return and his faithful duckling in place of his heart. Years later, the envoy came asking for the hand of the princess. Huh. Not eager to marry his daughter to the heir of the realm of darkness, the king said that she was disfigured, corroborating the lie with a forged painting. Wow. That's pretty dark. Here's a painting of my daughter. Trust me, she's ugly now. Don't trust the paintings, they always get ya. That reminds me of that Supernatural episode, right? Or probably a couple of them. Undeterred. When he discovered the deceit, he was so hurt by his love was cast aside that he banished the princess to her distorted portrait until she found... What? This guy's got anger issues, apparently. Okay. You, princess, go live in a painting. Okay, dude has anger issues. Got it. Checkbox. Hang on, I'm not ready for that yet. There we go. Now we do the para, 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 parables. Um, here we go. Once there was a prince of darkness with a duckling for a companion. The prince was too young to understand where the duckling came from. It was, a, it was natural for him to be with his duckling wherever they went. They have always been together since the day they were born. In the prince's home, there were other ferocious birds that belonged to the prince's brothers. The other birds perceived the little duckling as weak creature, and she suffered verbal and physical abuse from them. Every time the prince tried to protect the duckling, his brothers teased him mercilessly. How pathetic. A weak master with a weak heart deserves a weak guardian. Better hide yourself in darkness. You have both disgraced us. Both the prince and the duckling led a mournful existence. One day the prince found out he was sick. He set off into the world to find a cure for the illness. Soon he found himself in a beautiful kingdom filled with light. He was delighted with everything he saw. Even when he was inside his wagon, he could feel the atmosphere outside, which was joyful. Though he wanted to join the people outside, he could not, for the light burned him. People were always afraid of him. One day as the dawn arrived, the prince left his wagon with his duckling. He could not bear the life of solitude any longer. He yearned for light, even though the light rejected him. Even the shimmers of light at night did not accept him. He played sorrowful music with his fiddle, finally deciding to throw himself into the sunlight. He thought that even if the light burned him, anything would be better than to live a life of ugliness and darkness. A princess, who was of a similar age, approached the prince. She said, you play such wonderful music, and your duckling is so beautiful. Would you like to play with me? <laughs> no! Run away, don't... Don't do that. Well, he did, obviously. It definitely is ugly ducklings and water of life, for sure. I need to return the sword before I continue? Okay. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that, though. Ah, I'm gonna need a fake sword. I'm gonna fake it till we make it. Now we can swap them. Let's go outside. It reminds you of Moaning Myrtle. Fake sword it is. So let's go ahead and put that in here. 
Indiana Jones moment, right? Hmm. Possibly dealing with a curse, indeed. We got glitter! What are we building now? We are building a tower key. The day the princess was cursed for betraying her promise. So the dude cursed her because her dad made her into an ugly portrait. Or made an ugly portrait of her and then he made her into an ugly portrait. Uh-huh. We're gonna break the curse? Sure we are. The tall figurine seemed familiar. Could it be the person who cursed the princess? She didn't betray her promise, her dad did? Yeah, you're right. She had no choice. You're absolutely right. The dad is the evil one. Well, we will figure this out together. I still feel like the dude, regardless, should not have put her into a painting. You know what I mean? Like, isn't that a little extra? Like, is that even necessary? There we go. Last piece. We got the key. So, let's have a little peek at our map here. Uh, looks like we gotta go back to where we are. Um, I need to patch it up. I don't think any of these are gonna work. Ah, the key's gonna go here. Got it. A very pretty key. He is from the Kingdom of Darkness. Yes, Silver Mist, you're right. He, we should just assume he's a bad boy, right? Whoa. Look at that blood moon. There's the ugly duckling. I have to bridge the gap to get to the tower. I need to find the sigil. Whoa, that is a big mouth. I do think he overreacted. I, that's what I'm trying to say. We're not quite ready to get to the ugly duckling. Hmm. So. The crown. Where does the crown go? I don't think it goes here. The flower that never withers. Ducky ducky dance. Yikes. And yes. Was it back here maybe? No. I don't think it's here. Model axe. Apparently we're back here. Ah, here we go. Got it. Emblem frame. Found the morphin object. Yep. Blood moon. I don't know if this will work. No. We're gonna have to clean that off somehow. So I suppose this is gonna go here then. Yep. Don't go, duckling. I'm coming for you. I see the princess gaze upon the islet rock with a mournful sigh. The blood moon is, is, is on the rise. I know she wishes she could leave the canvas one more time. Okay. This easel looks like it's the one in the great hall. Steel brush. Gotta go clean that... Uh, wooden or uh, stone guy here. 
Interesting. We have a gem. And that's going to go on our king's forehead. And it's time for some Tetris. All right, folks. Oh, it's kind of neat how they have, like, uh, basically it's showing you where to put everything. Uh, that kind of takes away some of the difficulty, but I'm comfortable with that if you are. It's nice music. That doesn't look right at all. 